Yeah, so they got out in Trinity. Big battle. Ding, ding. Round 456 billion. <laughs> so, it, it's never going to stop, this fight. These two, right? Because it, it's just too hard. It's very difficult. Um, so you see here, 1 Timothy 3.16. Alright, so you go here. And it's got Goodhead and Trinity right next to each other. These are the two that are always fighting, right? So everyone, oh, but Godhead, yeah, it's in the Bible. At least that's in the Bible. Well, yes, it is. And guess where it's not? It's not in First Timothy 3.16, <laughs> right? It's not here. It's not on this one, all right? Um, you know, why doesn't it say the mystery, mystery of the Godhead? It doesn't say a godliness or manifest. God was manifest, all right? Not the Godhead. So, um, uh, where? So, where have you got it? These are the three places it is found. For as much as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think of the Godhead like it is. Uh, we ought not to think that the Godhead is unto like gold or silver or stone, uh, graven by art and man's device. For the invisible things of Him from creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. For in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead. So, in him. Uh, what, what's that one? Yeah, so, it's it's an on and on battle, especially these two. So you got Sam Simone, he's like that, he'd be the leader in the, the, the Trinity um, one. And this one's Brian Denling. Um... And I've been under the tutelage of both. <laughs> this man started out. Um, God gave me him to um, help me to trust the King James Bible. And that's probably where he should just stay. That's pretty much his lane. And he's the Godhead. He's full-on staunch Godhead, right? Hates the Trinity. Hates, hates, hates Catholic, all things Catholic. Hates the Trinity. But on the Trinity's token, it explains... God a lot better than what the Godhead does. The Godhead doesn't really give you a a good definition of um, of the Trinity and the and the way they work in in um, different parts and that sort of stuff. So um, both of them are, are lacking in a good description for it. Now the other big bad thing about the whole lot is both of these guys. All right, well, we're all guilty of it. Uh, no different than like the black Hebrew Israelites that say you must call God Yari Washi or Wishy Washi or Yamaha. You, you must say this name or you do not have God. So these guys are basically in the same boat. Unless you use Trinity, you don't have God. Unless you say Godhead, you don't have God. Now, um, <coughs> well, you're not saved, basically. They're saying you're not saved. If you don't say Trinity, you're not saved. If you don't say Godhead, you're not saved. And this is what I want to move away from, right? Trying to bring, bring people to God. <clears throat> um, for one, if you're using the Catholic Church, uh, like I said, Catholic Church, when it first started off, once upon a time, a long time ago, it was a beautiful bride, wonderful, very desirable, had a big golden ring given to it by God. Lovely. Everybody wanted Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was wonderful. Now, I don't know if you know Miss Havisham in that story, but... If you got Miss Havisham and then dragged her through sewage, right, she'd still be more desirable than the Catholic Church, right? So anything Catholic, nobody wants, and I don't blame them. I, I don't, you know, <laughs> no, never, I'll never join the Catholic Church. Not under that name or title or anything. Um, so, yeah, and Trinity is attached to it, and that makes it a horrible, unclean thing. So it doesn't matter if it's a big, shiny diamond ring, all right, offered. It's still covered in series and looks horrible. Nobody wants it. Um, Godhead, yes, great. Um, but uh, nobody really understands it. And this man here is not a really good representative of it because he doesn't exude fruit of the Spirit, which is peace, love, joy, goodness, kindness, gentleness. He doesn't have any of these. <laughs> he, he, he's very condescending, um, does a lot of glaring, i uh, never seen him laugh. Uh, or he does because someone commented he didn't laugh, so he did laugh just to show that he can laugh. <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, so not good represent representatives. 
So like I was saying, if we come up with a new name, like like God is a complex unity, you can't understand him. So you call him a complexity. I think that's a better thing. So if you're trying to give somebody God, just say, call him complexity. All right? Um, you don't have to use Trinity. Use complex unity or whatever or something like that. Or Godhead. Just don't understand Godhead. Just say complex unity. So, But they act um, alone and they do their own thing. They, you know, they do different... They play different roles. Jesus got a different role to the Father. The uh, Holy Spirit got a different role from the Son. That sort of stuff. All right, so yeah, hope that helps. Oh, where am I? Over this way. All right, God bless.